Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Jarad. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Peter Claver, the slave of slaves. St. Peter Claver came from a distinguished, very prosperous family. But he decided to join the Jesuits and at his first profession, this is what he said. I want to be devoted to God's service until death, like a slave whose only scope is the service of his master. In the college in which he was studying, he came under the influence of the saintly Alphonsus Rodriguez, a Jesuit, a simple brother and doorkeeper. And Alphonsus Rodriguez reminded him that he must do great things for God and suggested that he goes to the new world that is South America and work over there. And so finally he did get permission to go there and at his final vows, he signed in his blood. Peter Claver, slave of the black slaves. His method was very simple. All that he wanted to do is let the slaves know that they are loved by God tremendously. But what did he say was this? We must speak to them with our hands before we speak to them with our lips. And so he worked tirelessly with them. He spent hours working with them, washing their wounds and even their filth, and hours on his knees praying and doing penance. And when he went around speaking words, he spoke to them, not using just words, but also using images, pictures, because they came from various dialects and found it difficult to understand. And he spent a long time catechizing them so that they understand the faith before they were baptized. And over a period of time, he baptized over three lakh black slaves. But whenever you're doing something good, there will always be people against you. And because he was working for the justice of the slaves, the town magistrates and city officials were against him and wanted to get rid of him. Even Catholics who came to church were against him because he brought black slaves into church. And they were saying that black slaves do not even have souls. Even his own superiors had this to say. Peter Claver, a good disposition, poor judgment, lacking in prudence, little experience of life or affairs, some progress, remarkable work with the slaves, great advance in the spiritual life. But no matter what people said, he carried on his work. What sustained him was his prayers, his continuous prayers and his penance. In later years, he suffered from Parkinson's and when he died, people rushed to get relics of him and so his body had to be kept safely. And the town magistrate who initially was against him while he was living, now gave him a state funeral. What did the black slaves have to say? We have lost our only friend. Think about this. We must speak to them with our hands before we speak to them with our lips. Our actions speak louder than words. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.